Hey everybody, welcome back. Don't know if I'm play the battle right now. All right. We did a Zazel. Lazarus comes up next. A user by the name of something on Reddit. That wasn't their actual name. But they did have a name. I just don't remember it. G8 3E BB F8. It was nice enough to illuminate to me the actual changes that happen to Lazarus when you uh, undergo a death. I don't know if I love this idea, but we're, oh, health up. Wish that I had known about that uh, before we went in. Maybe I could have killed myself. I, I should have probably still killed myself and then come back out with a spirit heart. But anyway, um, as Lazarus, you start with negative luck and you start with a damage. Ah, uh, no, wait, that's Eve that starts with a damage modifier. That sucks. You start with um, negative luck, but after you die, not only do you get zero luck, which is better. Uh, unless you get some luck up pills, I guess. I'm not sure if it changes to zero automatically when you die, or if it just changes to, you know, whatever you had plus one. Ooh, a secret room. However, uh, you also get a 1.2 times damage increase, which makes it so that if you can actually get that early death as Lazarus and still feel confident in your survival, I think you probably should. So I'm hoping that you'll pay out with an HP upgrade. We could do it without it, but, I mean... Here's the thing, is Lazarus with 4 HP right now better than Lazarus with higher damage with 1 HP? Is it worth like a 3 spirit hard deal to pick up what might amount to like, I don't know, Horror Babylon or something like that? The answer might be yes, honestly. I'm inclined to say no, but maybe that's just because Horror Babylon is typically a too hard deal. You know, it's worth overpaying for something if it's the only way for us to get it. Uh, and in particular, if it's something like damage. But I think what I'm going to be on the lookout here for here is, um, yeah, Tinted Rock, exactly. But yeah, that was like the perfect curse room if I had known what was in it before I, uh, you know, went in it. Or if I had actually, like, looked at the Spirit Hearts, I could have just killed myself and then come back with at least a Spirit Heart in our favor. So now that we have one Spirit Heart, we are just going to, you know, walk in and out of this bad boy right here. Just make sure that you die... You know what? We're probably better off doing this in the fire here. Sucks that we lose the HP upgrade from the pill, but whatever. Let's test this out, get the extra damage upgrade. And uh, this will affect our luck stat as well, which is great because it will put us in a position where we can hopefully get some more uh, consumable drops. We still have an item room to find on this floor. And, uh, you know, immediately I'm not blown away by the extra damage that we're doing, but it is nice. Do the dips actually have less HP than the, the spiders? They do. Book of Shadows. This is actually really, really nice. I think because we already have a Spirit Heart, I will use a bomb to try to find the secret room. Ah, no, I won't, because we'll have to explore more of the floor. Yeah, this is a this is a really nice setup as is right now. We'll totally take the speed upgrade. Should be able to snag a deal with the devil on the next floor. The other way that you can play Lazarus is, of course, to um, oh, we could try that out, but I think we'll wait on it. Um, you could uh, try to get a deal with the devil and then kill yourself on the deal with the devil. But I kind of, I'm, I'm suspicious of that because, well not suspicious, but I'm kind of questioning of that because oftentimes you don't get a deal with the devil if maybe you don't have very good damage. You end up fucking it up and you take some red heart damage, then you don't get a deal with the devil. And then you're stuck playing as Lazarus 1 forever. Which, well not forever. You're stuck playing as Lazarus 1 until you die on the womb and then coming back with 1 HP as Lazarus 2 and being like, Why do I suck so bad? I don't know why I suck so bad. Uh, so I, I'm gonna make more of an effort, as long as there's even, like, a Spirit Heart available, to kill ourselves early as Lazarus, right? I... You don't need to do it in order to win. We've won as Lazarus won many times, but I think this lowers the threshold which you need to win. Uh, and I think it's kind of a novel strategy. It makes playing as Lazarus a little bit more interesting, I think. I'm not, I, don't, I don't think Lazarus is necessarily a misunderstood character. I think he still kind of sucks, but, uh... At least this gives a little bit more of a dynamic nature to the early game. It's kind of cool. I'm not too worried about boss rush here. We got to remember that we used to be a Zazel, so I've got some, uh, as I like to call it, Binding of Isaac Highway blindness going on, where basically I'm used to killing enemies faster, and oftentimes that can lead to me taking dumb damage. It's my own fault. So far, we've been pretty good about it, but uh, that can change pretty quickly. I would love to replace this trinket with something that's actually usable. Maybe a secret room? No, but we will get the chest. And it's Flatworm. I don't know if Flatworm's better, but it looks cooler, and that's that's worth something in my world. You're going to explode? If you find a black market, I will be forever thankful. Or I could just push you away from all of the bombs. That's fine, too. Or all of the, the rocks, but you did pay out with a bomb. 
I appreciate that. No more champions over here, fortunately or unfortunately. We do have enough keys to go to our item room, and we're totally going to have a Book of Shadows charge for our boss, which I am excited about because pretty much guarantees us a deal with the devil. If we could just pick up like some extra spirit hearts in the process so we could have a little bit of a better chance of survival. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Early quarter... My my opinion on the quarter varies greatly depending on where we are in the game. It does suck that we don't have any keys, but if we can just get one key on this floor or the next floor, then the quarter is something that will you know definitely make it possible for me to pick up. It's basically like an IOU for a shop item. Let's be honest. It's saying you can pick up a shop item at a later date with some consumables attached to it. It's like getting a, a birthday gift or something like that. I don't think we can find our second secret room even if it was there. It's just too far away. I appreciate that and. Um we're going to get out of there, because I was standing a little too close for comfort. No matter what deal with the devil we take, we can only take one right now. Two hearts is really a nice uh, amount of HP to be at, because you can take a, uh, a one heart deal followed by a two heart deal, as opposed to with only uh, one heart, you can only take a two heart or a one heart deal, which is not the end of the world. You know, there's a lot of great two heart deals in here, but it would be nice if we picked up HP here. It would be even nicer if we picked up an HP upgrade plus anything else, you know, meat would be fine, magic mushroom would be best, but that doesn't show up all that often on our boss rooms, but just don't give me like mom's heels or something like that, I feel like it's been so long since we've consistently gotten HP upgrades, you know, we, we were getting a lot more range upgrades and stuff like that, or give me torn photo or something, something offensively, you know, good, well, razor blade, huh, uh, I'm gonna take it, just to give us uh, the Whore of Babylon, not Whore of Babylon State, I wish we were Eve right now, but just to give us the uh, deal with the Devil precedent, and then we'll see, maybe there's a health upgrade or something out here. Explosive Diarrhea. Just stay away. Full health, another full health pill, and uh, there is a health upgrade, alright, that's kind of what I was hoping for. We've been everywhere, man, on this floor, but uh, we can perhaps take a trip to our curse room, just see if there's something in there. It'll only cost us one black card, and we have a decent amount of HP as is. Do I want to try to get that? It's probably not worth it. As I was actually hoping for some bombs there, so we could crack that open. More money. The money is not that meaningful. You know what? I will, um... I'll look for our secret room. It's gotta be right here. Maybe we'll get a key in it? You can get a secret... Whoa. That's a surprise. Never mind. I guess we will just go then. We could take this full health pill, but I'd rather not take it right now. I'd rather wait until uh, we get a little bit further in, but, you know, slow run thus far, but I'm, I'm content with the items we've got in the setup we have. Obviously would have been preferable if we picked up a better deal with the devil, but you can't always get what you want. No guppy items. Decent trinket at best. What do we get from our boss? Well, technically we got an HP upgrade, so I can't be too mad about it. With that quarter... You might be saying, hey, Northern Lion, now that you've got the quarter, I bet you wish you'd gone to the shop instead of the item room. Oh, but remember, where did we get the quarter? We got it in our last item room. You got your chicken and your egg mixed up. How'd you like your chicken? Over easy. You fucked up, man. I can't serve you a chicken over easy. That doesn't make any damn sense. What kind of restaurant serves over easy chicken? I was going to say, we should know this pill by now. I, I actually didn't want to come in here. I wanted to pick up the other pill. That's okay. We'll make do with it regardless. That was just terrible damage on my part. Alright, Anemia is still going to take care of some of the riffraff though. And really the best thing for us on this run is if we could get a deal with the devil on this floor. I mean, we're probably going to quote unquote earn one. You know, we're going to get all that we need in order to get a deal with the devil. Which is basically just not taking any red heart damage. The only question is whether or not we're going to get a deal with the devil. And I think that's a little bit suspect. I think it's probably unlikely. But it is kind of like a, I think it comes down to a 50-50 chance because we just took one on the last floor. Deal with the angel can be better. Or, deal with the angel could give us another Lazarus's rags and, you know, melt my brain and make me go cross-eyed. Or, uh, you know, deal with the angel could just give us spirit hearts, which at this point wouldn't be the end of the world, but, uh... I might prefer to just get some raw damage upgrades. Plus, we made good use of our deal with the angel on the last floor. One deal with the angel run, like, every ten characters seems conceivably uh, okay to me. You know what would actually be a great boss fight is if we could fight one of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, because if we could fight one of the Horsemen of the Apocalypse, I could actually get an Orbital that is actually somewhat offensively good 
which means the Book of Shadows could help me get through these rooms faster. Because as of right now, in spite of our damage increases, man, oh man, we are not killing things as quickly as I would like. Not that these blast assists should necessarily, you know, roll over and get killed, but seriously. Also, so many fucking big rooms. Work with me here. Forget these enemies. I mean, don't forget them. Remember them always as a reminder of the fact that the game hates you. I did not expect that that was going to work out well for us, so that doesn't hurt too badly. Child's Heart. Better than Flatworm? Oh, don't do that, don't do that. <laughs> Theoretically better than Flatworm, sure. So, you know, let's it's like a band-aid. Let's kill the big rooms as quickly as we can. Thank you. We got another key in the process, which means we actually can go to our shop right away. Or, sorry, our item room right away. We're going to be very slow on this floor, though. It's not really my fault, necessarily. We're going as fast as we can. It's just largely, uh, you know, shit damage combined with enormous rooms. And even another key in the process. All right. Damage modifier. You can do it. I believe in you. Sack of pennies, huh? Sack of pennies is, uh... Subpar. Figured we come down this way. There is a another way with, um... I mean, now it is my fault that we're taking forever because I've taken a roundabout path, but whatever. That, that only ends up costing us, like, an extra 30 seconds, which can make the difference between boss rush and not boss rush, but look at this run right now. You think I'm thinking about boss rush? The difference between this run and, like, that terrible Eve run where we did no damage is that, uh... I, at the very least, am in a situation where I have deal with the Devil Precedent, which is awesome. So I have an out, and I have the Spirit Arts to protect me for, for future deals with the Devil. Plus, you never know if these mushrooms might contain, you know, some more HP. There's different different ways that we can take to get to success here. Mom's Pearl. That will beat Flatworm, in my opinion. And let's move on. We're going to be out of this floor by, like, 1330, which makes Boss Rush very, very unlikely to happen. But, the shop... Maybe if you got, like, a red candle or something on it. It'd make me feel better. Oh, my God. Why am I having so much trouble with the enemies on this floor? I think we're going to buy them out, honestly. Hive Mind, you know, is not that amazing, but in the future it could be. And I think the Spirit Heart buy was possibly even a necessary pickup. What can I say? When, I, when I've got money in Rebirth, it, it burns a hole in my pocket pretty quickly. Feel like it's better to buy things early than wait for something better to come along, unless the item that you're buying is like complete shit. Too bad there wasn't a steam sale in there. Get the quarter, buy the steam sale with it, save money for the rest of the game. Please. Please, God. How is this floor so long? I'm losing my mind here. Also, how is this floor full of so many freaking enormous rooms? Even this one is, is larger than your average bear. Good stuff. You are going to deceive. Maybe hit that fire. No, that's okay. Didn't want you to hit the fire anyway. That would give you the, the honor of a warrior's death. I want you to go out like a little baby. Cried to death. Here lies Dip. He cried to death. What an embarrassment. Now... You could just maybe die. That would be great. Okay, so we are gonna we're gonna be able to fight the boss with Book of Shadows ready, which means we have a very good chance of beating the boss without taking damage or without taking much damage potentially. I hope that it is a boss. Well, I was gonna say I hope it's a boss that's easy, and that ended up working out. But uh, I also hope it is a boss that uh, will give us a deal with the devil because it's feeling very generous. Good stuff. All right, Husk nearly dead. Some people might take issue with using two bombs there, but I wanted to speed up the fight a little bit. Not because I'm worried about taking damage, but because I'm worried about losing interest in the run, which is more deleterious than taking damage. We get HP and Spirit Hearts, no deal with the Devil, but at least we can feel good about going down to the next floor with a good supply of keys and other consumables. It's the caves this time instead of the catacombs as well, which could be great. Alright, this is where we start to be able to maybe do some good stuff. I'm not happy you didn't pay out, but it's okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll crack these open. I appreciate the spirit heart. I appreciate the extra money, and I appreciate that you're not going to make me use my full health pill to get uh, Jim Cramer style mad money here. Now, we are still doing shit damage. As you can see against Chubb here, it's going to take us 
minutes to kill Chubb, unfortunately, not seconds. I thought you would explode, so I was concerned. It's almost better to, like, take a little bit of damage so that uh, we can get anemia and fuck with Chubb's day. You know, it seems like the earlier the better, sort of, but whatever. Uh, the game can't hold us or withhold from us damage upgrades forever. We're gonna end up picking up something. It can't last forever. You're gonna give me a magic mushroom or a cricket's head, eventually you're gonna slip up. Even a small rock. If I'm looking for tinted rocks, I could find a small rock. And even a small damage upgrade seems like a lot when you got none. So we did take damage there. That's all right. We picked up a spirit heart on here to begin with. It does suck that it was one full spirit heart of damage, but whatever. Mostly, I will be looking to trade those spirit hearts away or use them as protection to get deals with the devil in the future. Who is our second boss? Thank God it is not Mega Fatty. And that's, like, the main thing I'm concerned with on this floor is fighting Mega Fatty. Not that we'll take a lot of damage in the process, although the longer the fight against Mega Fatty is, probably the more damage we stand to take. But just the fight itself would take minutes. Is it really that we're doing shit damage? Or just that I'm used to doing better damage with Lazarus? Or, sorry, with Azazel, because we had Azazel on our last run. Or is it a combination of both? It could be a combination of both, admittedly. Stop doing your little creep dance here. Just stand still. You know you've been on a boss rush room, or a mob trap room too long when you start calling it a boss rush room, but also when the music track just ends. It's just like, you know, you, you should be done by now. That's not my fault, game. What's red and yellow and makes Northern Lion angry? Trying to think of a sports team with red and yellow. The St. Louis Cardinals. There you go. All right. That's the best I could do. Seriously, though, it's this peep. Please. Thank you. We can leave now. We got another spirit heart back for our troubles. That feels all right, but... Well, I mean, was it worth it? Sure. I mean, it was worth it. We'll play this guy again. Placenta allowed us to get a lot of HP back there because that fight took 100 years. In fact, why don't we take a little bit more time... And get back to full health again and just see if we can get the payout just so we never have to backtrack again. Because this is getting a little ridiculous. If we're going to spend a lot of time on this run, we might as well commit, you know, spend a lot of time on the run. Alright, at the very least, we are encountering some enemies who are relatively easily gotten. Couple of hits each, this is all it takes. It's these runs where, like, there's so many fail safes for an Isaac run. You can get a damage upgrade from an item room. You can get a damage or tears upgrade from a boss. You can get a tears upgrade from an item room, of course, as well. Uh, let's just call them DPS upgrades. You can get a DPS upgrade from a deal with the devil. But when all of those go wrong and you end up, you know, three floors deep without having improved your damage except for this Lazarus, you know, one death. That's when things start to fall apart a little bit and you say, you know, does the game really want me? How come he don't want me, man? Ouija board, should go without saying, is not something I'm super pleased to be picking up, but it, it is a good item, sort of, but it's not the item we really need to start piecing things together. I'm very happy with that dime pickup, and I'm, I'm very unhappy with the fact that, you know, we're going to be, again, subject to a war of attrition. And this is really, uh, at least on that Eve run, I was like, you know, that's my fault. Thank God you died. Like, that was my fault in that Eve run, because I took some dumb damage. I didn't get the deals with the devil that um, I I wanted to earn, but did not deserve. I didn't deserve them. I took too much damage in the process. This run is very different in that I feel like I'm uh, doing my part here, and yet we still find ourselves behind the eight ball. But this is the floor, like, this is where you gotta, you know, when you're going through hell, keep going. We gotta just keep our, our wits about us, and if we're lucky, we can get a deal with the devil. Actually, if we're unlucky, we wouldn't get a deal with the devil. We should be lucky enough to get a deal with the devil on this floor. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune. I don't even want to take that. I'm better off with full health. So, you're not going to like this, but I didn't want to take damage on that room, so I did that. I'm glad we saved our bomb now. We even got a spirit heart back. And two pills. One of which is a health upgrade, so it was worth coming in here. And a speed upgrade, too. I don't dislike it. <laughs> I think... We, oh, no! We still have to go this way. Okay. Well, at least we, we can just go to the right. And we never have to come back. Probably. Uh, yeah, that's that's all right, then. 
So, you know, the speed upgrade is what it is, which is not that good, but we did pick up another health upgrade in the process. That opens us up to the mythical three deal with the devil corridor. If we get a one, one, two deal with the devil, you know, two one heart deals and a two heart deal, we can take all three. And even if they give us no spirit hearts or no extra survivability, we have enough to, to coast on ourselves. So it's a really, really powerful amount of HP for us to be at, but we need to get just the perfect amount of RNG or the perfect type of RNG uh, to, to work with us on that. Why are we getting so many spirit hearts? Believe you me, I'm not complaining. I'm just surprised. Oh, it's Mom's Pearl, right. I was like, we gotta have some item. It's it's a statistical aberration. And the results, or it's a result of Mom's Pearl, I guess. Which I appreciate. Man, remember Soul Penny from uh, Community Remix? Every time you picked up a penny, it had a 50% chance to pay out with the spirit heart. Those were the days. Blank card. Well, we know one of these, I was going to say, is a stat upgrade, so we'll take it. I think we'll buy the key as well. Blank card's a bit of a weird one. I don't know if we should take blank card. Book of Shadows is working out pretty nicely, and we don't have any uh, cards. The only card that's available on this floor, actually... Ooh. The only card that's available on this floor is Wheel of Fortune, which is not really worth it. But we'll get more cards in the future, because we'll be going down to, you know, the Depths Necropolis. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Well... Prepare yourselves. It's gonna be a long one. In a way, it's probably better for us to take damage, uh, so we can get a little bit of extra anemia damage, but I'm gonna try to avoid taking damage, if it's at all possible. We're, we're approaching the halfway point, so, you know, this is not like this is gonna be the greatest, longest fight of all time. It's just gonna be long. There we go, there's our anemia damage. So I'm gonna try to stand close enough to bait him into a, a, a jump, but not a fast jump. And then, yeah, he stands on the anemia, or the, on the creep that we generate. That actually does a decent amount of damage. I, I appreciate that. Good stuff, yeah. That that might be more damaging than our tears at this point. Wow, that's just bad. But, uh, you know, our mega fatty fight's not going to be that bad. It's going to be long, but we got a lot of spirit hearts. And we really, really should get a deal with the devil after this. Please don't be Krampus. We've earned a non-Krampus deal. Remember when we picked up the Razor Blade 45 minutes ago? Like, this run is already almost as long as our freaking Azazel run that we went to the chest on. So we get an evil range shot speed up. And Guppy's Hairball, Book of Sin. We'll take Guppy's Hairball because we can afford to, basically. And we'll we'll move along. Could have played Book of Shadows on the uh, Blood Bank some more, I guess, but I didn't want to go back through those rooms. Alright, so we're, we're in the danger zone yet again. Because this is the floor where we would expect to probably not get a deal with the devil. The odds aren't in our favor anymore. The odds are like 50-50 that we'll get a deal with the devil. Compare that, or uh, combine that with the fact that, you know, our deal with the devil could be Krampus, or our deal with the devil could be, you know, Red Chests or something like that, and you can understand why I'm not feeling too enthusiastic about this. I hate this layout for fighting pride. This is just real annoying. Gonna catch me off guard one of these days. It's all right. The good news is, you know, for for the near future, we're kind of unkillable, and that's something I'll I'll probably regret saying soon. But um, you know, we we've got enough consumables as well. It's like riding out a storm. You know, we're not in a great position. I'd rather have heat right now, but we're at least in a position where we're surviving, which is good. It seems like there's a double key room of some kind available here. Could be a library. Could be a double key room. Could be both, maybe. I did buy the compass, right? Yeah, that was it. Was the compass and uh, and uh, what was the other thing that we bought in that one shop? I can't remember now. It's okay. Coin purse, something. Oh, hive mind, right? So Guppy's hairball is like you know semi intermediate good against zombies. It's okay. Money equals power would be so good right now. Just give me some kind of damage upgrade. Like this is the RNG that I hate right here. Is just we we've done our part. And just nothing has worked out in our favor. Give me some of the RNG from the last run, you know? Give me Cricket's Body or something like that. Mind you, that was a, a boss rush room. At least now, actually, I can't complain too hard because um, Guppy's Hairball being picked up does give me, like, an out against some of these enemies. Spe at least, like, once every three rooms, I can use Guppy's Hairball. Let me guess, Blank Card Hero Font. Blank Card Temperance. That actually would have been cool as well, but whatever. I'm happy with just getting a Temperance card and maybe picking up uh, some extra HP on this floor. This is an easy room. 
especially with the chain reaction. And please God. Okay, got very excited for a minute, then remembered that Mom's eye uh, is cool looking, but not very good in its own right. So, that's very unfortunate. Please, I was gonna say, don't, don't jump at me, but like jump towards me, so that Guppy's hairball can end your life. So, it, it can be a powerful item in the right hands, I just don't know if my hands are right right now. Could Book of Shadows the, oh, no, no, no. I was like, we could Book of Shadows the, uh, the Temperance card, Blood Bank. But that's not in our best interest. Our best interest is at least killing one of those guys. And making the rest of our dodging life a little bit easier. Every hit that we land on these hearts is a victory. I forgot that I have a Ouija board, actually, so I can just, uh... Stand over the rocks and do it. I can't fly, but I can stand over the rocks. Please, like Red Candle or something. Starter deck. Now we get starter deck along with blank card, of course. Should have taken blank card. That's okay. We get a stars card instead of full health and a stars card. Well, the boss rush room is on the table. I kid. I'm going to spend a little extra money here and get deck of cards. Rules card. Chubb dislikes smoke. Do you guys aware of that? I figure we might as well pay three cents for the red heart and we'll take that back here and uh, we can use that to get maybe more than three cents in return. No, we used to get two cents in return. Unfortunately, we went the wrong way to get to our boss fight. There's a battery back here. I'm just going to pick it up right away. I don't really need the HP from the blood bank. So... Yeah, let's just pop this right away. That's not even a double key room. That's just a straight up library. That's awesome. Satanic Bible, Book of Belial. Oh, sweet Jesus, Book of Belial. Work with me here. We don't have any bombs? Can't put a bomb down and get some more tarot cards here. Starter deck is still good. I just wish that I'd gone with blank card. Even though, admittedly, you know, blank card stars is not that amazing. So, Satanic Bible is probably better than Book of Shadows, but it is hard to tell. I might stick with Book of Shadows. Just because. Oh. Oh, okay, okay. This is, this is good can't blow this up unfortunately but I might stick with Book of Shadows just because are we a fucking placenta don't we god dang it so we're not gonna be able to stay in Horror of Babylon State as much as I would like to um, unless we can trade it uh, trade our HP away which I would really really like to um, but I'm surprised we got through there it's it's a hard call I like Book of Shadows more because we're not doing very much damage and it actually allows us to use Guppy's hairball offensively Satanic Bible is, is a top tier item. But with Mom's Pearl, do we really need more HP? Not immediately, but probably at some point on the run we will. Well, definitely at some point on the run we will. Especially if we keep doing shit damage. So, it's it's a tough call, honestly. Thank you, Guppy Sarabal. It It is, like, really sincerely a tough call. There's a Tinted Rock right there. If only I could get rid of some HP faster. We gotta deal with the devil on this floor, but... Okay, uh, remember, Ouija board. Uh, we gotta deal with the devil on this floor, but it doesn't really matter. Might affect our chances of getting a deal with the devil on the next floor, but I hope not. Where did I use all our bombs? This is... It's a tricky situation that I'm not a big fan of right now. I really wish that there was just Book of Belial in there. Free deals with the devil and the damage upgrade would have been a no-brainer. Did we, maybe we had placenta on the last run. I don't think so, though. I'm pretty sure we had placenta on this run. Oh, okay. It's good. I don't love uh, the fact that we won't be able to permanently stay in Horde Babylon State. Placenta did go off there. Uh, but I do love the fact that we're getting one free deal with the devil item regardless. And fuck all y'all. If we get, like, Brimstone Mom's Knife, we earned it. Oh, the game is good. The game is good. Down to the next floor. This is exciting. I am ready now. Again, I, mean, I, I can't feel bad about that. We earned it. Does Mom's Eye make it so it all... No, it doesn't always work. Now, our damage, you know, with Brimstone is still not amazing. But it does give us the ability to to do damage, which is nice. And then, now I kind of wish I'd gone with Satanic Bible. I could have gone back for it, but laziness, I guess. You know what? I don't want to fight these bosses. Let's just teleport out. My reflection, I don't think even works with um, Brimstone. If it does, please tell me it doesn't work in a way that is completely uh, counterintuitive. No, it doesn't seem to work at all. 
works for me. Uh, let's go up here. Again, you might be saying, hey, use Book of Shadows to play the Blood Bank. That's not my plan. My plan is to use Book of Shadows, if possible, to play a Demon Judgment, which there is none. Uh, then... I'm thinking we just use this donation machine. I know we have permanent polar. Uh, you know what? We should do this. It's not permanent polar invincibility. It's Celtic Cross, but uh, it ran out. I'm dumb. We got Celtic Cross again. Celtic Cross doesn't tell you when it's about to run out, so I'm just gonna take my money and run. We probably could have played it another two or three times there, but whatever. So I'm building up my bankroll here. There we go. That's a convenient amount of money for me. Fifty cents is probably more than we'll uh, we'll ever need necessarily. But you never know. So now it all becomes about getting this uh, core of Babylon to work. We're already in a position where we could conceivably win the game. Brimstone is is arguably the best item in the game. Some people might even say inarguably the best item in the game. I don't know. It, it's somewhat situational, but uh, I am hoping that we can. Make Horror Babylon work in, in our favor, and that would be a one run right there. Don't give me any trademark Northern Lion luck bullshit. How about how's this for trademark Northern Lion luck? Get like six deals with the devil, and get no damage upgrades in them. Not that I'm complaining, because you know we did pull this out. We got some good stuff happening here. On that curse room, we could have used the the stars card, but I didn't want to teleport out because it would have been annoying uh, to walk all that way back. Let's just go fight our boss. We're ready now, and this run's going to speed up quite a lot. Uh, I'm not going to get this. I don't think it's necessary. I'd rather save our keys for the chest. We've been a little bit key bereft recently, at least. And remember, if we get a deal with the devil, we can conceivably become guppy on this one as well. So let's get the let's get the guppy action going here. It actually does a decent amount of damage in its own right. Occasionally, we'll be able to hit both uh, sections. That pop themselves open if we get super lucky. Book of Shadows is gone. No feet? It's Quentin Tarantino's worst nightmare. I'm, you shouldn't make fun of people for their fetishes. I think he'd laugh, though. Okay. I think he'd laugh, because we're good friends. I know him. Uh, Krampus. I'm fine with the Krampus fight, especially if we get Lump of Coal. But mostly, Krampus should just be pretty easy to kill. Big mistake on your part there. It's Krampus's head. There's no reason to pick it up. Let's head down to the next floor. Again, you might be saying, Temperance blank card. I don't think so. I don't think, uh, Euro XL, that's unfortunate. But, we found our boss rooms in the first room due to like the strangest floor generation of all time. Uh, that's great, actually. I don't think Temperance uh, blank card is, is really what we want here. It sucks, double fallen. That's great, but uh, it sucks that we won't be able to trade away HP here unless we get Guppy's Paw. Guppy's Paw is like the dream item. Takes us a step closer to becoming Guppy. Yeah, we're trapped. Takes us a step closer to becoming Guppy, but in addition to taking us a step closer to becoming Guppy, puts us in permanent Horror Babylon state, permanent Polaroid invincibility. It's good stuff. How are you not dead? Like, our damage is a little disappointing. Instead, we got Necronomicon. Oh, good. And we can't even use Temperance to take us to a half art interval at this point, which is annoying. Alright. That's what I'm hoping for there. Get in there. Get that Guppy's Paw to do as much damage as possible. Man, I can't imagine how little damage we'd be doing right now if we were um, Lazarus 1. The fact that we still have to deal with, like, Polycephalus, even though we have Brimstone, is... A little bit of a sobering fact, unfortunately. Dodge is kind of difficult to get nothing but net on them here. How are you not dead, Polycephalus? You're Polycephalus. Edmund, did you nerf Brimstone when I wasn't looking? I don't support that. Thank God for the, the semi-halo of flies we got going on here. Can't believe I'm not taking damage. Chubb is actually like the ultimate meat shield for us here. I appreciate that. Why is this Brimstone fight proving to be like... This Brimstone Mom's heart fight proving to be the most difficult one we've had recently. Doesn't seem right. Tell you what. Give this run 
Take away Brimstone from this run, give it Triple Shot and uh, Cricket's Body and Monstro's Lung. Or no, we didn't get Monstro's Lung. Um, the Mark, the Pact that we got on the last run with the Zazel. And just in return, just give that run Brimstone. Shouldn't have gotten hit twice there. If I lose with Brimstone, I can never live it down. We're not going to get another deal with the Devil, so we really kind of just have to rely on stacking up damage upgrades. Eh, it's a living. Let's try the stars card. Okay, dokie. Oh, we, we have the compass, but that's all right. Give me some keys on this floor. We didn't get a chance to really get any consumables on the last floor because we found both of our bosses instantly, which is great, sort of. Mostly great. I don't like taking five brimstone shots per enemy here. I shouldn't be doing this bullshit like, you know, stop your brimstone shots. You know, that's that's above my pay grade. It, could you give us, like, a single bomb or something? I don't want to have to rely on Loki's bombs to do damage to Loki. Like, that's, that's just emasculating for me. Especially with brimstone. Loki's like, oh shit, brimstone, this guy's going to blow us away. And then nobody's being blown away here at all. I, if anything, I'm a little nervous about our amount of HP at this point, which I really should not be, but it's a testament to the fact, hey, you know, Brimstone by itself, great item, maybe the best. Is it going to win you your run? Probably not. Good, good, good. We've really got to focus on getting that sustained Brimstone damage, you know, good to the last drop. A single bomb, oh my god. You're too good to me, game. Yeah, one Brimstone shot is almost enough. But we've really got to have the confidence to stay in there. How do we get to Horror Babylon on this run? That's a damn good question. I guess we have to hope for... Because even a health down pill won't do it for us because it'll just be health up. We have to hope for... Like, the only way for us to get to Horror Babylon is ridiculous. It's like we have to hope for an HP upgrade, then we fill our hearts, then we hurt ourselves with this Temperance card, and we get to a half heart. That's how we get to Horror Babylon. That's the only way that I can see that'll make it work short of getting Guppy's Paw, which is extremely unlikely to happen. Um, we should use Book of Shadows early. And if, if we uh, do that, we have the privilege of the inevitable Placenta HP bonus. Look at that damage. I didn't think it would be possible to make me have Brimstone on a run and not be happy with it. But imagine how shitty this run would be if we didn't have it. Oh my god. I almost feel like the, like it's broken. Like you gave me the wrong Brimstone. You gave me like Blimstone or something like that. It's a genuine high definition Soiny. Seriously though. At least we're able to one shot the, the minions that uh, Isaac is spawning. It should keep us from getting overrun. And we're about to enter the next phase. Okay. That's kind of unavoidable damage. Well, we, sh we should have a pretty much 100% chance of making it down to the chest, at least. Bit of a slowish run, but that's not a surprise. Uh, we should have a, a very good chance of making it down to the chest. And then all we got to do is stack up, like, two damage upgrades. And that's conceivable. Or, uh... I don't even know, like Taurus or something like that. There's a few different items that we could take that that could uh, really help contribute to us getting a win here. Isaac is is kind of a pain in the ass when you actually have to deal with this second phase. The way he moves. Well, you know the big boy song from Speaker Box slash The Love Below. I like the way you move. Certainly was not written about um, the second phase of the the Isaac fight in the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. But we're still alive. We got Brimstone. And 1.2 times the vanilla damage of Lazarus. One up, but um, boo, we don't want to be there. Good speed though. I don't know. Maybe Libra could save this run or something like that. It's not a run that needs saving. We might be able to survive. I'm not that worried about the actual bosses, even though we took a hit on this one. I'm more worried about the the you know gauntlet of rooms that lead up to the bosses. All right, let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. That's real bad. That is a selection of badness right now. 
Uh, this doesn't pay out with any more items, yeah. But, uh, man, that's that sucks. That sucks bad. This might not even be the right way to get to the boss. I mean, I can sort of see the outline of the boss on my map there in the top right corner. However, I feel like I've got to come to these rooms for the potentiality of getting a chest. Oh, look, I'm a big old ambulance. I save lives. Look at me. I'm really important. All right, well... And I'm proud to be a Canadian, where at least we know Giddy Lee. Bum friend. Th these are the items you're going to give me. Look, you can talk shit about Brimstone and how amazing it is and oh, it's overpowered, blah, 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 all you want. Look at this shit. If all you get is Brimstone, good fucking luck. And if you didn't kill yourself, or if I didn't kill myself as a... Uh, Lazarus on this run, even better fucking luck as far as I'm concerned. We got Brimstone, and we can't even deal with a double mega fatty room this late in the game. Yeah, we're gonna die, actually. You know what? I kind of welcome it. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. This is a run where I feel justifiably salty. I have been doing... I did everything in my part. I did everything right, you know? I was my valedictorian in high school, went to college, did good, and now I'm working at the freaking combination Pizza Hut Taco Bell. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, I should be working at a Fortune 500 company, but here I am doing no damage to Mega Fatty instead. It's frustrating, man. I followed all the steps. Well, at least we didn't get a run like this on our 25 win streak. I think the game is just fucking with me. It's like finding new ways for us to do no damage. Probably should have stayed with Satanic Bible now that I think about it. Oh, finally, a room that is not consisting entirely of bosses. Walked right into that guy. Take your bets. Who's going to be the mini-boss that ends it? I'm going to say, let's take the underdog here. I'm going to say Wrath is going to be the mini-boss that ends it. Most people would probably put their smart money on Greed. I think uh, Wrath's going to shoot in some kind of some kind of bomb that I don't expect. Actually, in all likelihood, we'll make it out of this room now. Okay, well, we, we have very few outs now. What we have to do is start looking for bullshit, like if a secret room is here, for example. Oh, I don't have any bombs. Never mind. Of course, we're not going to look for the secret room. we got to go back and pick up this bomb. I forgot about that. We're going to pick up this bomb, and then we're going to look for a secret room down here. We'll get a one-up so we can continue this uh, merciful joy ride. Okay, we should not die against Gertie. Unfortunately, we also find ourselves in a position where... Um, I, I have to start, in my opinion, kind of min-maxing our Book of Shadows plays. So I really do not want to um, use Book of Shadows on Gertie. Because we should be smart enough and strong enough to survive here as is. It's just summoning flies. As long as we stay, you know, away and kind of zigzag here, we'll be fine. Stay sharp. Really. This is remarkable. You think Dingle can do it? You think Dingle can kill us? The real danger there was that he would lose the slow. Uh, just in time to really fuck with my, my planning. Like that, for example. If he lost his slow there, that would be bad. I think they can be on the creep and lose the slow status effect. Like The status effect, I think, just expires. Just like anybody else's. Or any other status effect, I should say. But if we can, you know, keep them as slow as possible, that's great as well. Might come in handy against Blue Baby, except, oh wait, I can't even get close to him because we'll die. I'll have a brief Book of Shadows played. Don't even touch it. You're not entitled to touch it. Uh, why can't you be more like your, your brother Dark Bum, bum friend? Dark Bum actually did something with his life. He got out of this shitty town. Opened up a combination Pizza Hut Taco Bell just off the turnpike. It's like a Bruce Springsteen song. Alright, so we had to kill Blue Famine last. So we could get that juicy, fat, spirit heart action. That makes it slightly more conceivable that I beat Blue Baby here. This is a fucking crapshoot, man. I hate this. We have to avoid so much damage. Probably in our best interest to just move as little as possible so that I can kind of keep like a baseline for dodging. Even like I'm here's how fucked up this run is. I'm like, man, I wish we had Lord of the Flies. 
those flies would belong to me and they would make it, you know, 2% faster to finish this fight. Well, 2% of infinity is a long time. We are uh, somewhat amazingly still, still kicking it here. About a, I was going to say, like a quarter of the way through the fight. Here we go. It's the moment of truth. Oh, look at that Guppy's hairball action. Okay, get ready. Couldn't have given me Celtic Cross on that one hit we took, right? Like, I know that it's low odds, but still. Give me something here. We're so trapped. Got out of it just to get right back in. Halfway through the fight. And by all accounts, we probably should not be alive right now. But we are. This is still incredibly annoying during this phase. You know, we'll just got to move when he's not doing that big shot. Because that big shot is going to be the most annoying thing to dodge. Unless he's slow. But I don't know if he gets affected by the juicy sack, sticky baby shit on the ground. If we can stay out of his range, that's, you know, that's pretty much the ideal outcome. Fuck your teleportation, man. Every time getting into, like, the ideal spot. Well, as much as I've shit-talked, like, our base damage brimstone here. Great name for a barbecue rest restaurant, by the way. As much as I've shit-talked it, without brimstone, we wouldn't even have a chance to be here. It's not brimstone's fault. We didn't get anything to go along with the brimstone. But we're gonna fucking win anyway. Alright, well, that's one way to do it. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. We're gonna be back. I think it's Eden next, right? Yeah, it's gonna be Eden next. We got a three win streak, and we won uh, on that run where we had no business winning. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.